Welcome. In front of me is a Google Pixel 8 Pro and today I will show you how you can set up and enable your Do Not Disturb mode. So to get started, we're going to pull down our notifications by swiping down from the top of the screen. And you want to swipe down once again to extend the list of toggles and find the Do Not Disturb toggle, which for me it is on the first uh, page of them, located right over here. Now, it might be that for you it's on a different page, so just keep on swiping to the left till you see it. Anyway, once you see this toggle, hold it, at least the first time around, which will take you to the settings. And here you can customize how the mode actually functions. So, let's start off with people. I said people, there we go. Uh, which will allow you to select who can call you or message you. And under calls we have additional toggle, so allow repeated callers. If someone calls you twice within a 15 minute period, it will bypass whatever you have selected above here. Now I'm going to touch upon only the more important ones. I'm going to skip over certain ones like apps. But moving down, we have schedule. Here obviously you can select a fully automatic schedule. There is usually one that is pre-made, which is sleeping, starting at 10 p.m., ending at 7 a.m. And if you want to utilize one of those, you can just enable it in here. You can also create your own by selecting add more and then select uh, rules for it. So I'm going to select the timed one. And from here, select days of the week that you want it to run during, start and end time. And once you have set it up, it will automatically become enabled, as you can see right here. So there we go. Now, if you're planning to use a schedule, just make sure it's toggled on in here and that's all you would need to do. Now, moving on to the last option, which I'm going to talk about is the duration for quick settings. This will define what happens when you manually turn on the mode. I personally like to set it up for one hour, which means, or actually four hours, which I can add here, uh, which means when I've, whenever I press the toggle, it will turn on for exactly four hours, after which it will automatically turn itself off. And I can still turn it off myself uh, before that timer runs out. And the reason I recommend selecting something like that is because if you tend to enable this occasionally, you will most likely forget about it being enabled, and then it will be running with the default option indefinitely in the background till you actually turn it off yourself. So, there we go. Now, once everything is set, we can find the toggle, tap on it, and there we go. It is now enabled. It's also telling us that it's going to be running until 12.25 a.m., which is basically the four-hour timer. And like I mentioned before, I can still turn it off whenever I want by just tapping on it once again. So there we go. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.